Out of your belly, out of your shampoo, out of your out of your river of living water, so yeah, out of your belly, out of your shampoo, out of your river of living water, your help is living water, out of your belly, out of your shampoo, out of your out of your river of living water. Welcome to the Men of Integrity, men that rescue men and women. And we are delighted that you've joined us again for the Word of God. God has been doing some great and marvelous things throughout the community, throughout community churches. We are really seeing the kingdom of God being demonstrated in the lives of God's people. Brethren, I'm hearing healing, deliverance, salvation, and all kinds of things are happening in the lives of the believer. And I want to highlight that word, the believer. The believer. Those yeah. that are believing the word of God, word of God is experiencing a dynamic move of God. Oh, yeah. I want to say to you that if you have been blessed and you are having these miracles to take place in your life, don't forget to email us at the bishop at theriversministry.com. I want to hear your testimony of how God is changing your life. Many of you, we are meeting in the marketplace and we're not able to hear your whole testimony, but we want to hear what God is really doing in your life. Yeah. And don't forget, we need your support to sow a seed of faith to the KPLE television station. The address is on the screen. Do it tonight. Drop it off by the station. Put it in the mail. Call it in by credit card. Whatever the Lord puts on your heart, sow that seed because we're trying to amplify the voice of God throughout this region. Again, Apostle J. Edward Fisher of the Saint Centers in Copper's Cove and the Apostle G. L. Grace from New Zion Balanced Believers here in Colleen. What are you guys hearing before we get into the Word of God? Well, I'm hearing the same thing, Bishop. Uh, I'll tell you a great testimony. Uh, a young lady was here in the broadcast, just totally f set free, just here, and it was such a timely word. So I, likewise, I just want to tell them, continue to watch, continue to uh, support KPLE. It's been great. Amen. Yeah, and then you can look in the eyes of people out there. You know that it's because of the broadcast. They're looking at you. Funny like they know you, you know, and I say to you, yeah. I, I, I'm sure you will agree with me, brother. Come up and say hello to us. You know, we're nobody, but you understand we'll be encouraged. Um, and tell us what's happening out there with you, too. Amen. We're looking to hear what God is doing because, behold, the kingdom of God is at hand. Mm -hmm. Let's get into the word of God tonight. It's found in Hebrews chapter 4, verses 12 and 13. For the word of God is a living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword and piercing as far as the division of soul and spirit of both joint and marrow and able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Mm -hmm. And there is no creature hidden from his sight, mm -hmm. but all things are open and laid bare to the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Brethren, that is a powerful, powerful. statement mm. there yeah. mm. because man cannot live by bread alone, <laughs> but by every, every word, word that proceeds mm. out of the mouth of God, yeah. and God has spoken it. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. It is his will, it is his desire to do great and marvelous things. Yeah. Okay. The writer says, they that know their God, Daniel, yeah. says they shall what? Be strong. Be strong and do and exploits. Great do exploits. exploits. Yeah. Okay? That's right. Let's jump in there. Bishop, uh, Pastor, start us off in here, the Word of God. Well, I'm, I'm telling you, Bishop, I'm excited about this because I believe that everything pivots off the Word. The believer, as you said from the top of the broadcast, the believer, again, what makes us a believer is simply because our hope and our faith is resting in the Word of God. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. God is the Word, and again, everything comes from the Word. So I'm excited about this, the importance of the Word of God in the lives of the believer. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, God has so much of confidence in His Word mm -hmm. that He placed His Word above His name. Above His name. And yeah. so we should likewise do, do the mm -hmm. same, have the same attitude toward His Word. When the Word of God says that His Word has been settled, Mm. Mm. in heaven, yeah. okay? That's right. I'm, I'm believing that he is suggesting to us that you cannot live life on your terms. Right. You got to live life 
on the terms of the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's if you want to be prosperous. That's if you want to have good success. Joshua tells us that in chapter number one, that if you meditate day and night and be careful to observe all that is written mm -hmm. in the law, yeah. then you shall be yeah. prosperous and yeah. have good success. success. Mm -hmm. But what I'm finding and what I'm hearing is that people are going through so many uh, tragic and, and trauma situations, but they are failing to apply the, the word, word of God, God yeah. to their lives. Mm -hmm. Why is it so important that we got to stop, okay, take another look at what the Spirit is really saying to the church? Mm -hmm. I think uh, one thing, Bishop and Apostle, is that in every trial, every situation, we get distracted and we lose focus and we take our, our eyes off the Word. And so there again, I believe that's why a believer again, is always devastated in many areas. They take their eyes off the word because sometimes we want instant success. We want, mm -hmm. uh, we want an instant deliverance. We, you know, sometimes it's a process. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I believe that's the key. And we never develop because, again, we keep deviating from the word of God. Yeah. And then, you know, what we're seeing and what's all around us and what's in our uh, physical world and our there physical senses, that's fact. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the word of God mm -hmm. is truth. It's true. Yes, That's the difference. See, yes. And, and, and when you stop and you think about that, you have to measure facts versus truth. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. It is a fact mm -hmm. that I am sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a fact. But the truth is, <laughs> with his stripes, I'm healed. I'm healed. Yeah. All right, okay. man. And, 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 <laughs> <laughs> and, and we have to come to terms in this yeah. day and age. Mm -hmm that you got to measure facts with truth. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't mm -hmm. just say, no, I'm not sick. Mm -hmm. No, the fact mm -hmm. of the matter is you, you really are, are sick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But the truth of the matter mm -hmm. is, okay, is <laughs> yeah. that you are healed uh -huh, as right. well. If you can believe right. and trust go, and yeah. say mm -hmm. what the words they say. A lot go. of people talk about the word, but <laughs> yeah. they never yeah. speak the word exactly. to their situation. Exactly. Talk to me, sir. Yeah, and, and that is so we talk around it, Bishop. We talk out, sometimes we talk our circumstances, well, we do the word. We commentate the problem. But you said something that is so powerful that, again, that brings the miracle to stand focused on the word of God. And again, uh, when you're dealing with fact and dealing with truth and being able to wait this thing out, to stand on the truth, which is the word of God, mm -hmm. and not want instant gratification or instant answers, say, God, I'm going to trust you. I discovered some, some miracles in the Bible was pro in a process. It wasn't instantaneous. Mm -hmm. That The lepers, they had to move as Jesus spoke. Mm -hmm. They moved they went and they was healed. They wasn't yes. healed instantly. Yes. Mm -hmm. They just obeyed his word yes. mm -hmm. and then they moved. So sometimes God says, I'm going to grow you in your faith mm -hmm. and you got to move in the direction of what you want. Yeah. You, you know, and then let me jump in there and just, and just deal ahead. with that. that that's, it's interesting that you brought that up because we were talking about this. I was teaching from this perspective that Jesus told them to go and show themselves to the priest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But at that particular moment, they were not healed. Exactly. They had to take the word of God. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, in public, when you pass people, mm -hmm. you have to holler, leper, leper, leper. leper. <laughs> now, here's the problem, okay? If I say leper, I don't believe that I'm healed. Exactly. There you go. There you, you, go. you, you yeah, follow yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. I got and you. I got can't you. go and show myself to the priest in right. the condition that yeah. I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So at the point of impact, when you receive the word of God, mm -hmm. you have to begin to believe it, yeah. okay? And, and then... It. Confess it, yeah. and then you got to walk it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to walk it out. And that makes me think, you know, it's not the fact that makes you free. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's the truth that makes you free. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. why that's we got to stay with the Word of God. That's yeah. the Bible. Mm -hmm. yes. Another point, too, Bishop and Apostle, is you notice Mary, when she conceived Christ, she said something very simple to the angel. She said, be it unto me. Yeah. According to thy word. All right. she, she didn't feel nothing. Wasn't no pregnancy. <laughs> mm -hmm. She wasn't in her first trimester. She just said, be it unto me. Yeah. All right. Wow. How, how many times have you found yourself in a situation, whether it was positive or negative, whether somebody spoke prophecy over your life, whether your pastor said some things that were positive over your life, and you just said, 
be it unto to me. me. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of times we think that, that, a lot of times some people think that the Word of God only works in negative situations. Right, 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 but right. you know the Word of God works in situations where we're not struggling, where mm -hmm. we're not oh, fighting, yes. where we're not whatever. Mm -hmm. If somebody just speak a word to you from a positive position, All right. you know, this whole life of, with Christ ain't about suffering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, yeah. Somebody yeah. out there ought to say, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, and sometimes even in the greatest days of our lives, the Word of God speaks to us, and we just have to receive it, mm -hmm. Apostle, and just say, be, be it unto, unto me. me. All right, all right, all right, yes. all right, right, And right. I, I just really believe this, uh, Bishop and Apostle, that sometimes, we, even when we receive your prophecy on our lives, we got to understand that prophecy does not, again, alleviate you or delete you from the process yes. mm -hmm. of walking this thing out. It does yes. not excuse you. You still got to walk it out. Abraham yes, was a good example. God yes. said, listen, get ye up and move from this place. I have a land prepared for you that you have not seen. Or again, he got to move on just the word of God. Wow. Just the word of God. Yeah. Haven't seen the land. Yeah. And you know, Paul is saying in 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter, he said, those guys in the Old Testament, they believed mm -hmm. yeah. and then they spoke it. Yeah. He said, but they don't have nothing on us yeah. Yeah. because we believe and yeah. we speak too. So faith works in every dispensation mm -hmm. yes. and, and, good, and it good. comes from the word. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and it has to be the word. Mm -hmm. In Psalms 1, it says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Mm -hmm. Where is your counsel coming from? Yeah. <laughs> is it coming from the righteous of God? Come on. Come on. Come on so many people are hearing so many things. They, 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 they are abiding mm -hmm. by so many things. But where is the counsel coming from. Yeah. How, how can you speak on the behalf of God if you don't know God? Mm -hmm. How can you speak on the behalf of God if you don't walk with God? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Amen. Bishop, that is so, it, it reminds me of a story. We was uh, in jail ministry and mm -hmm. um, they give us you warning, said don't listen to jailhouse lawyers. And they would yeah. always say, well, <laughs> why you want to listen to the, the, the uh, inmates in the jail cell? He said, where are they? They still in the jail cell. <laughs> so, you know, when you ask the question, where are you getting your counsel from? Yeah. You know, I say to the believer, they got to get their, their counsel from, first of all, righteous, righteous influence and godly influence. And they got to stay in the word of God. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, Proverbs tells us that there is no counsel against God. Yeah. Yes. No counsel yes. against yes. his word. So yes. we just want to stay with the word. You, you understand what I'm saying? Because the word can do everything and it, and it's settled, like you said, it's already settled it's in heaven. It's been settled. tried and proven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. in, in that same chapter, he mm -hmm. says, verse 2, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. Come on now. And in his law, law. does he meditate. meditate day and night. Come on now. All of your resources of knowledge yeah. should come from the Word of God. All right. Your mm -hmm. wisdom should come from the Word of God. Yeah. Not in old wife fables <laughs> and, and not in what you saw somebody else do or somebody else heard. You should have the counsel of God from the Word of God mm -hmm. concerning your situation. That's right. And that mm -hmm. requires that thing that Bishop talks about all the time. That requires prayer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what we got to do. We have to pray the Word of God. We have to present the Word of God. And that's what changes things in our life. Uh, Bishop and Apostles, just decreeing the Word of God and praying the Word. John 8 and 31 says, if we will continue mm -hmm. in that Word, if we will continue, and I believe yes. a lot of times the strategy of the enemy is to break our focus. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, again, you notice in our society now, is people have a problem staying focused. Yeah. Again, yeah. keeping the main thing the main thing. Yeah. And I have a saying that, you know, I think it's very powerful is sometimes you got to learn to stick to it. Just stick it out. Just stick it out. Just like a postage stamp. Mm -hmm. Just stick to it until you get to <laughs> It. Yeah. You know, just get to it like a poacher stamp. It ain't going to move from the letter. It'll stay on that same letter till it get yeah. to where it's supposed to go. Yeah. And then, you know, right in that same uh, verse you were talking about, it says it's just not enough just to believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we got to get in that word. Yes. And that word has got to become mm -hmm. our life. Yeah. The Bible yeah. says it's life unto those that find them and help to all their flesh. He says... It is a lamp unto to my feet, feet. Yeah. Go, and a light unto my path. Yeah. Every step of the way should be illuminated mm. by the Word of God. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Let, let's, let's digest this scripture. For the Word of God 
is living. Mm -hmm. okay? It's a lie. Mm -hmm. okay? Let, let's talk about the life of the word, Apostle. What, what does he mean when he says that the word of God is a lie? Actually, uh, that word quicken is, that's what it means to be made alive. In other words, not dead. The opposite of life is dead. And so God is saying you are alive. In other words, you're living, breathing because you exist is simply because of my word. That's why Jesus said in Luke 4 and 4, man shall not live mm -hmm. by bread alone, but by every word. And I believe, Bishop and Apostle, that sometimes that's the strategy of the enemy is to pull us away from life. Yes. See, the scripture is the only thing that can expose Satan, self, sin, or the Savior. Yes. That's what the scripture can do. Mm -hmm. yes. But when he pulled you away from that, then you're in a degree of darkness, and he's the prince of darkness. He do his greatest work mm -hmm. in darkness. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And that's why Proverbs said it's life. The word of God is life. It mm -hmm. imparts life mm -hmm. unto those that find them. Mm -hmm. Life, life, yes, life. Yes. And so, yes, it's a living thing. We're not dealing with something that somebody just strolled out. We're living with the, the, the living word of God. Yeah. Yeah. In him we move mm -hmm. yes, and have our being. Mm -hmm. The living. Then mm -hmm. that day, there's another word in here that says active. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is not only living, but the Word of God is doing something. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. It, 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 it's, it's causing some things in your life to happen. It's mm -hmm. It should be causing conviction. Yeah. It should be causing confession. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all want to weigh in on that? Yeah. It, yeah. It, it, it's, uh, it's living and it's active. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it should be causing some things in your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and well, it, it tells us in James 1.22, Bishop, for we're supposed to be a doer of the word and yeah. not a hearer only, you know, if we're taking action or if we believe. See, again, some, some people are sitting back waiting for the word to just manifest in their life mm -hmm. without, again, executing the word. Yeah. See, the Bible says, you quoted then, faith without works is dead. Yeah. So that means we got to become people of Acts, just like the book Acts. Mm -hmm. We got to become people of Acts. We got to yes. become doers of the scripture. Yes. Yeah. And then, you know, um, again, the activeness of it is that uh, you realize that if you keep filling yourself with this word of God, you'll start changing and, and not even uh, determine that you were going to change. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just going to start happening and you're going to know then that word of God is powerful and alive in you when you start saying, hey, I don't even desire this anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Where did that happen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the seven stages of change mm -hmm. is action. Mm -hmm. And it says mm -hmm. when a person gets busy taking an action, that brings about the desired yeah. change. Mm -hmm. So if you really looking for change, if any man be in Christ, He's Corinthians new, says right. he is mm -hmm. what? A, a new, new creature. Degree. That simply means that the word of God has come alive in you mm -hmm. and it is actively bringing you to a place of conviction and confession, yeah. okay? mm -hmm. because without conviction and confession, everything remains the same. Mm -hmm. okay? All right. It says it is sharper than any two-edged sword. Yeah? Mm -hmm. what, what is he suggesting here? Well, I believe what, one thing about that is it has been narrated that the, the sword that they was talking about in history had two, so, two sides to it, that it cuts every different way, but also it has the ability to penetrate, mm -hmm. again, you know, for the person that's swinging the sword. So I believe the, the, the writer in the book of Hebrew here is saying that, again, it doesn't matter, again, what the word come in contact with, because later we'll yes. see that it pierces the very asunder. It cuts everything, even to the soul even yeah, to the spirit yeah, yeah, yeah. realm. Mm -hmm. So that tells me, Bishop, that even in spiritual warfare, we need to be swaying in the sword of the spirit. Again, we can speak to anything. The yes, word is yes, what created yes. us. The word is what mm -hmm. brought us into the earth realm. Yes. It was just spoken. Jesus himself is the living word, the walking living word incarnate mm -hmm. in the earth realm. Yes. Yeah. And then if you have any type of problem, like mental problems or yeah, psychological know. problems. Yes. Yes. Why well, so the word of God can get there. Yes. Yeah. It can, yes. it can the, the psychologists may not be able to get there, <laughs> but the word of God can get there. So God has wrought this great salvation that takes care of the total man. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You 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 just took those thoughts right out of my out mm. of my head and, <laughs> and I want to weigh in right yeah. there. There is nothing mm. come on now. that you can be experiencing mm -hmm. that the word of God cannot do deal with. Come on now. If you really looking for change, you really looking for deliverance, if mm -hmm. you really looking for healing, yeah. if you really looking for salvation, the word of God will penetrate all of that trauma, mm -hmm. hurt, 
pain, disappointment, frustration, aggravation, okay, loneliness, yeah. uh, lack. Mm -hmm. The Word of God will penetrate all, all of that, that yeah. and bring you to a place of deliverance. Mm -hmm. Yes. Bishop, I want to say uh, again, that, that is so powerful, as you and Apostle were saying, that word reaches every area of yeah, man. Yeah. And, and I just really sense that, that the believer, again, have to stick to that word, mm -hmm. no matter what they're facing, learn how to live by the word of God. Yes. Yeah. And you said it earlier, say, our success is going to depend upon yeah. that word, our deliverance. People yeah. are having all kinds of problems, but there is deliverance mm -hmm. in this active powerful word. Let me propose a question to the audience and, and as well as you brothers. How is it can a person confess to sit up under the word, okay, know God as their personal savior and stay wounded for years? Mm -hmm. how, how, how is that possible? Yeah, it's the lack of application. Is a, is a, a again you can hear her again but not be a doer yeah, yeah. of the word. So mm -hmm. and and I believe that's what has happened. That's the spirit of religion though. The spirit of religion can keep you in a church just sitting in a pew, yeah. keep you sick, broke, lonely, disgusted, because there's no application mm -hmm. of the word. You're not as we said earlier, we're not walking it out. We put not putting leather to the word. We're not walking it out, becoming a doer of the word. If you notice the pattern that Jesus left for us. Uh, the word in John chapter 1 verse 14 the Bible said the word became flesh yes. and dwell among us. See that's mm -hmm. what we're not allowing. We're not allowing that word to become <laughs> flesh and we're not demonstrating the word. You yeah. know we're, we're being hearers but we're not being doers. That's like sitting in church, what I call mental ascent. Mm -hmm. You preach you a great go. word, I say amen, but I'm not changing. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. My will is not broken. My will is yeah. not submitted. You know, I'm not being transformed like the Bible says in Romans chapter 12, renewing that mind yes. with the word of God. Yeah, yeah. and, and there's just a lack of agreement with God. Lack you understand what I'm saying? You're Real hearing good. it, yes. but you won't agree with him. Yes. And so you can't, you can't walk with him. You understand? And that's the, that's, I think that's the problem that people have that, that disagreement. They hear it, mm -hmm. but they won't agree with it. Yeah. It, it. It's when the word of God does not bring you to a decision, mm -hmm. then it's possible that you did not really comprehend Mm -hmm. or understand. Mm -hmm. I believe that the Word of God is so powerful and so sharp okay, and so active that it is almost impossible for a person to ignore the Word. Yeah. They just have not embraced it. In Acts chapter 2 it says, and when they heard, mm -hmm. okay, they were pricked in mm -hmm. their heart and they said, men and brethren, what shall, shall we, we do? do? Yeah, the yeah. question that I want to know, all of this word that we are hearing okay, or reading, does it ever bring you to a place where you have to be convicted in your heart, mm -hmm. okay, whether it doesn't really have to be sin, but convicted even to do a greater work for the Lord? Mm -hmm. And then ask the question, what shall we do? Mm -hmm. it, it, it says here in verse number 13, and there is no creature hidden from his sight, yeah. but all things are open and laid bare to the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Mm -hmm. God sees you, and the word of God is coming after us, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but the question is, will we embrace the word of God? Yeah, and that's back to what Apostle said earlier, uh, Bishop, is the alignment, and we don't align ourselves with God, we don't agree. You know, you can hear the word, and of course, I, I believe one of the things that blessed me early on was I had to learn that we are co-laborers with God, that That's God right. is saying, you don't work independently of me in the earth. Again, God is working in us both to will and to do. We got to learn right. how to become co-laborers. Yeah. Again, Amos said, how can two walk together except they be agreed. That mm -hmm. means that if I'm going to walk with God, I got to agree with God. Yeah. Enoch was a prime example of walking mm -hmm. with God. Yeah. So we have to do the same thing, Bishop. When we say we believe his word, we got to come in agreement with him. Yes. One other thing, and I want to let you go with this apostle. I believe that if we look at this uh, parable of the sower, okay. again, when that word came, what ground did it fall upon? Yes. You know, but then yes. even it teaches us when persecution came mm -hmm. because of the word. Yes. See, 
Yes. And again, if we look at it in, in Matthew chapter 13, verse 19 through 21, see, a persecution, the word draws persecution. Absolutely. See, again, a man that receive it and that don't have root in himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when persecution comes, he deviates. Yeah. Oh, that's good right and, there. See, <laughs> he deviates because the deviates. Bible says he is offended. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, yeah, they got so much uh, that we let compete with the word of God in our lives. Yeah. And, and that parable was saying that, said, we got cares. Cares of this, yeah. That become more important to us. You understand what I'm saying? We got other worries and and all of those things like that. And so the word doesn't, is not able to settle in us and, mm -hmm. and bring forth fruit to perfection. Yeah. See? Yeah. And then the other thing I want to say, you read the scripture, said everything is open to God. Yes. Mm -hmm. God yeah. sees everything. So then yeah. we can conclude this if he does. He's sending the right word to us because yes, he knows what our problems is. Yes, sir. Yeah. We're not receiving it. Yeah. Yeah. You're getting the right <laughs> word. Stony ground. Yeah. The question is, yeah. what ground is it yeah. falling mm -hmm. on? Is it falling upon Good. a heart mm -hmm. that is ready to change? Let Come me on. say this to you, my beloved. Hey, he says that the word of God is sharp and powerful, mm -hmm. okay? And it even gets to every aspect of your life, okay? The mm -hmm. apostle said that it got to fall on good ground. You got to believe it and you got to embrace it. Mm -hmm. But when tribulation and trouble come, you can't run from the word of God. Yeah. There you go. Our expectation is to be blessed of the Lord. Mm -hmm. But in Psalms 1, he goes back and said, but that man is blessed that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. But his delight has to be in the law of the Lord and he has to meditate on it day and night. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now look. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall, shall prosper. prosper. Hmm. But the ungodly, the person, hmm. the ungodly here, I believe it's described as a person that does not embrace the word of mm -hmm. God, walk out the word of God, and yeah. believe the word of God, then he will not prosper in his way. Mm, that's right. So if you're wondering why prosperity seems to be uh, eluding you, mm -hmm. it could be possible yeah. that we're not walking, yeah. Yeah. believing, mm -hmm. embracing the word of God. Come yeah. on, you got about 20 seconds. I want to just say, and you said it on time, Bishop, when we deviate from the word of God, God is not guaranteed to answer yeah. because right. we moved from his word and he cannot deny himself. Yeah. Yeah. And then you know if it's not working, you need to check it up and yes. then go back and look at the word of God uh, cuz sometimes we're doing things that look like the word of God but it's not the word of God at all. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes the word of God, uh, brethren, will reveal some things that you didn't even know that was there. <laughs> you know, you, you think you hope your door and everything is good and you flowing mm -hmm. in the anointing and the power of God and then here comes a word mm -hmm. to the house. Okay? And you don't believe that that word is for you. But I'm yeah. convinced that the yeah. word that comes to the house is for everyone in the house yeah. mm -hmm. to take another look at the situation and the circumstances yeah. because that word of God don't make mistakes. God knows yeah. us. He sees he us. He knows right. what we need. Yeah. And knows. bam. Come on, give me 10 seconds. Of it's your like, last it's like eating, Bishop. It's just like children eating. We eat what we want to. And again, if something comes across our plate that we don't like, it's vegetables, we don't want it. Yeah. Yes, sir. And then we despise the correction of the Lord, too, and don't know that He's dealing with us as we're children. Yeah. The Word of God is sharp and powerful. <laughs> yeah. The Word of God gets to the division of the soul and the spirit. The Word of God is covering every aspect of your life. And if you are ready to prosper, stop listening to ungodly counsel <laughs> and get back to the Word of God. Yeah. Sow that seed of faith tonight and call someone to hear the Word of God. Hmm. We'll believe in God for your miracle. And this is Bishop Shaw, and we are praying for you. Join us in any of our services. It will be life-changing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Out of your bed, out of your, out of your shelf, Lord, rivers of living water. Out of your, out of your shelf, Lord, rivers of 